Hey, hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Guns R Us. All right, guys, what are we doing today? I know there's some videos out there, but not everybody knows how to do this, or you know, you haven't do your research about changing the calibers on the AR. All right, so today I'm gonna teach you guys how to change from this one five six or two two three similar round to this. <clears throat> oh, there you go guys that's a big change right um it's a bigger caliber and it's, it has more uh stopping power and the ammo ammunition is cheaper not that i don't like the 223 or 5 by 6 because it's a great round have more velocity than this one but this one have more impact and more uh stopping power all right so <clears throat> Again, we're going from the 5.56 five, five, to the 3 uh, <clears throat> to the 7.62 by 39. So pretty much we're going from this to this. And it's simple. You don't have to do too much, all right? I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put some uh, pictures in the video of where you can find the parts and all that good stuff. And still, after you build the 7.62 by 39 caliber AR-15, um, you you can still using the 5.56 upper. And the 300 blackout upper on the same uh, on the same uh, same gun, right? Same serialized or uh, 80 percent that you have, guys uh, have for the regular multi cal 556 223, all right? Actually, it's 556 223 300 blackout, and now 7.62 by 39. All right, so let's go straight to the point, guys. All right, so. Pretty much what I did with this gun is um I bought the whole upper receiver. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna spend that much money. Um, I'm not shooting professional with this rifle. I mean, you can you can buy the upper receiver, you know, expensive one with a expensive barrel, however you want. Still the same build. All right, so I'm just gonna teach you guys how to do the build. Mine is a cheap build. It's not that expensive, but you know, it's reliable to have fun. Okay, uh, and it will do the same thing. Shoot. All right. So here, uh, well, obviously I got the, the bipod uh, from Macpool, the grip, and uh, mostly four inch from uh, Macpool, and the Vortex Strike Eagle, all right? It's a very nice uh, sight, and it's not that expensive. All right, so moving on, guys. So <clears throat> I'm gonna remove the magazine. You guys can see, 7.62 by 39. <clears throat> I'm gonna make sure the gun is clear. Even I already checked the gun is clear. So pretty much we're gonna uh what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna take this uh this firearm apart and I'm gonna teach you guys or show not teach you, you know, um just show you what parts you need to you do your conversion from uh uh a three hundred blackout or two to three five five six to uh, seven point six two by twenty nine. So first we're removing the pins. Uh I'm gonna use this because mine have um, the little rubber inside to, uh, I believe this one does. Yeah, that right there. To my uh, pressure so we can have those uh, upper and lower receivers tight. So here, regular 556, nothing changed. Have the same buffer tube, have the same uh, uh, buffer, have the same trigger, have the same, everything the same as a, as a 223-556 um, or 300 blackout um, build. Same, same, same. The only difference that we have here, of course, is, well, obviously you can buy the whole upper. I bought, I bought the whole thing because it was cheaper that way. And it only cost me like 200 and some change, not even $250. And uh, <clears throat> the only thing that I needed was not the whole bolt because I have a couple of five, five, six, two, three, and three hundred blackout uh, bolts, and the charging handle still the same. 
the open receiver is still the same. Like I said, I bought the whole thing, but you can, if you want to do your own build, all you have to do is buy the same 23456 open receiver, and the only difference will be the barrel. Okay, and uh, on the gas, uh, the gas block. Of course, all the all the uh, components in there, the hangar, all the good stuff. But I got I got a good deal. I'm gonna show you guys where I got it from from Arctic Planets. Hangar, barrel, everything assembled, gas tube, gas uh gas block, and actually I have I got the uh, a muscle brake or a compensator, which is not this one, but it came with a compensator. And uh, actually came with uh, the little dust cover and of course the upper receiver. All right, and that's it. And this one here, the ball assist. There you go. I mean, that's a lot for 200 some change dollars. All right, so um, pretty much all you have to do is, you have to do is purchase. This was my uh, 556 to the three. Uh, let me use my magnifier real quick. There you go. So I don't remember if this is a fail zero or two something, but there you go. It's a regular 556 five, uh, nickel bar um, bolt. And pretty much what I did is I removed remove the bolt in the front. I'm not gonna fancy your intelligence guys, but if you have done uh, some cleanup on the firearm, you know how to take the bolt apart because this is something that you must clean after you uh you use the AR-15. All right, so here we're gonna twist this real quick. We're gonna remove, remove this, and that's it. So pretty much, I removed the fire pin and the bolt from the bolt, the bolt from the bolt. So. In, uh, I ordered a, a 7.62 by 39 uh, bolt. Everything assembled already. And I think this one is from, uh, no, no, I, I'm pretty sure it's from uh, Spy Tacticals. Yeah, I think I got it for like $60. You can buy a chrome, I mean a naked burrow, or you can buy a black. black. I got mine black, because I'm thinking of buying another uh, nice bolt for this one. Um, but in the meantime, you know, I got just just the ball and uh then he's a firing pin for the 7.62 by 39. All right. So this one will have uh, more penetration on on the on the primer than the 556, okay? So that's pretty much it, you know. All you have to do is put it back in there. Yes, sir. Twist it. Put your firing pin. And I lost the clip. The retainer. There you go. It was a screwdriver. All right. Hopefully this goes uh goes in there smooth. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt just to uh, get it through. But let's see this one. Yeah. Of course. I'm filming the video. Oh, there you go. Boom. Nice and clean and shiny. There you go. So now you got the bolt assembled already with the 7.62 uh, bolt and the 7.62 uh, in his firing pin. All right. Uh, since you're gonna be shooting uh, a bunch of cheap ammo, you know, and, and, and a bunch of crap in there, whatever, you know, I'm shooting brass. I got brass already for my, uh, um, for my build, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna shoot anything. That's that's the whole purpose. So what I built cheaper, so I can shoot cheaper too. Okay, so there you go. That's the bulk. That's all you need. And then the upper receiver. Like I told you guys already, everything is the same except for the barrel. But I bought the whole thing for like two hundred fifty dollars. All right. So now I uh, have a uh, Strike Industries. Uh, really nice compensator. I love this compensator. 
I got it on, I had it on my 300 blackout um, bill and I transferred it to this one. All right. Also, the only thing you need additional to that is the magazine. So I got me some metal uh, pro map magazines. Um, they're pretty good. You know, they're not bad. All metal. I got me two. I'll buy some, I'm going to buy some more since I did the, did the research and I found them for like 22 bucks, you know. It's the same, 556, 223, um, I guess because it's a 7.62 by 39 and something, you know, that is rare. They're a little expensive, but you go to the Mac, uh, Mac Warehouse, I believe it's the Mac Warehouse, and get it from uh, $22, so I'm going to give me a couple of those. All right, same, charge your handle, all you have to do is, of course, you know, I'm not going to fence your intelligence, okay? I know you, I know you have to do this. I know... You know how to do it. So boom, put it right there. Make sure you get that bow out all the way to the front. And then bam, that's it. Boom. Now, I wanna show you guys, there's no, you know, you can utilize, you can still utilize your, uh, um, I'm not gonna change the bow right now because that's the bow that was here but this upper is for that 300 blackout, okay? But you can still use the same, uh, the same 556 223 with a 223 or 556 bolt, okay? And the same charging handle. Boom. Well, I'm not gonna go all the way through because I gotta take it off. But there you go. You got the 556 and then you can put the other 300 blackout. For the 300 blackout, you use the same 556 or 223 magazines. Same everything. The only thing that changes the barrel. Okay, and that's why I had this uh this five five six two two three uh open receiver for the three hundred blackout, which is this one right here uh belt. Okay, so I got three hundred blackout five five six two open receivers for one gun, and I still can use three hundred three hundred uh three hundred blackout. Actually, I can use if I have the bolt for each of the uppers i can utilize all the uppers with this lower so five 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 six two two three three hundred blackout and seven point six two that's three calibers in one gun that's a lot you know i mean uh, i don't think all the rifle can do that so there you go some of the use uh better use ARs you know those pins come out like nothing you just push here and then pull out real quick but these ones are, are tight very tight they're not that old there you go so there you go guys you have a built 7.62 by 39 that easy that easy man you can you can you can buy the lower with uh um with a brace, you know, you can get a SB brace in the back. Uh, actually, this is a lower that I register as others. So if I want to, I can get another shorter 7.62 um, barrel. And all I have to do is get one of those mil spec tubes, mil spec tubes with a, uh, with a bus stud. When I use a rifle, I use a bus stud. When I use the shorter barrel, I just swap the the, uh, the long barrel for the short barrel and uh, pull out the boss tag and get the, uh, and pull the the, the brace in the mil spec uh, boss tag. So there you go. Those magazines are tight, man. They don't, uh, they don't wobble or anything. Boom. Fits very good. What can I say, guys? What can I say? Gotta pick up those rounds later. What can I say? Nice build. You know, for chip, you can you can shoot up up to three rounds. You know, once you get those uh, upper receivers uh, built for your gun. You know, it's not that fancy. So at the end of the video, don't uh, stay there. I'm gonna put a couple of um, uh, pictures for what I got these, uh, these things.
with the price and everything. Okay, so just go. I mean, Optic Planets is my my to go uh, my to go store for optics. I get optics and uh, parts and uh, lights from uh, Optic Planet. Um, they're being pretty good. The shipping is fast. They get discounts. They, every time I purchase something, they send me a fifteen uh fifteen dollar discount for over one hundred and fifty dollars. They have uh coupon discounts throughout the week and if you subscribe they send you um they send you a, a text message whenever they have uh the discount so there you go guys you can still go on back you know all you have to do is change a bolt if you don't want to buy another bolt and you want to use the same uh the same belt all you have to do is drop this in there it doesn't take more than five minutes same charging handle everything and swap it out for 556 or swap it out with the same bolt once you transfer everything to this bolt to the 300 blackout too easy you know this is this is the lego of the guns and yes it is you can do a lot of stuff with the ar-15 even ak-47 i'm not bashing the ar-15 it's a very uh, very nice rifle but even my ak-47 will run, run through mud and everything you know what i mean uh i gotta give it to the ak-47 on that one the ak-47 um would take more more as a as a mod and, and rough terrain and water and all that good stuff through better than the uh ar-15 build you know what i mean but hey since you got the ar-15 you know you can you can you can let, get the max from the rifle two to three five by six three hundred blackout and then now seven point six two all right till somebody else come with something else but uh, there you go, guys. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys like the video. Um, this is my my home defense gun. I got uh, some Russian ammunition uh, hollow point in the front. This bad boy, red dot sign at the top. Man, that's a bad boy. It is a bad boy. Yeah. So. Go got the 7.62 by 39 um, belt to have fun. Boom! All right, guys. Um, I hope you guys like the video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. You know, sometimes we have to search for stuff directly. If you want to build 7.62, you have to search AR15 7.62 by 39. But if you subscribe to my channel, you get the notifications. So when I come with something new that you don't know. That is possible you can receive that notification and there you go you'll be like bam it's out there but i never searched for it. and now i got uh, a 7.62 by 39 put some uh, badass stickers i got it from ebay for like three dollars three dollars and some change you know nice they look pretty strong man boom all right guys Stay safe out there, all right? Um, support the Second Amendment. Keep supporting the Second Amendment. That's all right, all right? Don't let these jokers take that away from you. And I will see you in the, in the next uh, video.